Angela in the Gangster Goodies Kitchen. And I have a very, very, very special guest today. Now, you guys know all of my guests are special, but this one I birthed myself, okay? Yes, literally, I birthed myself. So, this is my <laughs> oldest daughter. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> it's Shalia. So, you get it? Sheila, Shalia. Yeah, you know, my namesake, the closest I could get without just naming her Sheila Jr. So, anyway, this is a treat, y'all, because she's always behind the scenes, not in front of the camera. So, uh, what are we going to show people how to do today? We're going to make a stuffed golden papano. Okay. So whole fish, head on. We have some herbs, some spices, some aromatics. And we just gonna get it cracking. We gonna get it cracking, y'all. So if we had some music, Shalia, what would you play to get it cracking? Oh, we can play some Nipsey, like Racks in the Middle or something. Uh oh, Nip, <laughs> Nip. Everybody that knows me know I love Nip. when I one day I don't know she and I were talking she said now you know it's something when your 50 year old mama turns you on the Nipsey Hustle oh yeah yeah so racks oh, yeah. in the middle is that it okay racks in the middle. maybe we can get a little racks in the middle in here hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay y'all we're gonna get started this um the fire is heating up matter of fact I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit so it's not too, too hot when we get ready. So what we have is a fish. A gold, this is called golden papano. So we went to the Asian market. They sell whole fish. It comes in, I think, fresh once a week. And so golden papano is just a basic fish. It's pretty meaty. Uh, it has just very few bones. It's not... Um, Fishy. It doesn't have that fishy flavor, okay? Yeah. And so one of the first things I always do is I look at the fish itself. I look at the fins, the scale, make sure that everything looks fine, that it doesn't look discolored. I know the fish is dead, you know, and so how alive can it look, you know? But there are things that we can look for, and we will kind of put those up there so you will remember that when you go shopping for fresh fish. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, mixture that I made. It has just a little bit of uh, heavenly oils, uh, vinegar, and uh, oil. It has a smoked olive oil, just a little bit, because I want to make sure that all my seasonings stick. So I'm going to put a little bit in there, and then just a little bit on top. Look at that. So over here we have, and I'm just going to start using it, we've got my pepper blend that I absolutely love. It has red pepper, white pepper, yellow pepper, uh, and black pepper in it as well. So we're just going to put that in the cavity, okay? Mm. Yes. Then we're going to take... Yeah, go ahead. Help me out. Help, help, help your mama out. <laughs> Why don't you put a little onion powder in there too? We'll put a little onion powder in there. And we're going to... How about some of that uh, Mike Peas? Oh, yeah. And this is Mike Peas fish seasoning, y'all. So... You know, check out my boy Mike P. Yeah, put yeah, because we want all that flavor in there. And then I'm gonna, you know, kind of massage it in there. And then how about putting give me some of that fresh garlic? You can put that fresh garlic in there. And then what do we want to put in next? We got some, some lemon lemongrass. Grass. Yeah. Some of that lemongrass in there. And then we got some thyme and basil. Uh oh, y'all. And these are this is time out of your garden, right? I'm ruthless. Uh oh, yes, we got a gangster gardener over That's here, right. y'all. I love it. Okay, got that thyme in there. Then we're going to put a little bit of fresh basil in there. And then last but not least, we're gonna put some uh, orange slices and lime slices. Mmm, this is gonna. Be oh my so God! Good. I wish you guys were here because it smells really good, it does. doesn't it? Yes. We're just going to stuff that, stuff that all, all in there. there. Y'all, I'm going to throw another piece of basil in there. Okay. Another piece of basil. Well, piece lime. of lime in there. Let's go and put it all. Okay. There we go. <laughs> now, normally we would grill this on the charcoal grill, but you know what? I've worked all day. It ain't that kind of party today. So we're just going to sprinkle some seasoning on the outside as well. 
Look at you. She get it from her mama. <laughs> but today we're going to cook it. We put a little bit of oil in a cast iron skillet, like little griddle. And here we have our stuffed fish, y'all. Okay, you see that? And so we got all that goodness inside. And then we're just going to drop it in there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nice, nice. And so we're gonna let that cook like maybe two minutes on each side. And then when we come back, we're gonna get a chance to taste. And then we're gonna sit down and talk about our gangster goddess waste me. Uh-oh, y'all. So Thanks. we'll be right back. Hey, y'all, we are back and I get a chance to taste this fish that has been stuffed or prepared or garnished or however you wanna call it with what did we put in there? Uh, we had lemongrass, um, thyme, basil, garlic. Um, there were some spices that we used, the Mike P's fish seasoning. Yes. Mm -hmm. and oranges, so, limes. Oranges and limes. Yeah. Yes. So, and again, normally we would prepare this on the grill, but you know what? We wouldn't fire that grill up today. So, there's always another way. My mother used to always say there's more than one way to skin a cat, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna taste this fish and we get to tell you how fire it is. And then we're gonna talk about the gangster goddess bead, waist beads that my daughter Shalia has developed. So uh, yeah, okay, let's, right, let's dig let's, in. Let's, let's taste uh, this fish, so. So, and the it? golden papano, you can really just kind of start digging in it because the way it works is that it's all meat on one side. You eat all the meat on one side, then you flip it over and you eat the meat on the other side. So I'm just cutting pieces out for you. And then as you'll see, you'll see, of course, you can see the lemons, the limes in there. Oh, I can't, why not wait to taste that fish? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, that meat looks so good. Oh. Okay, that so looks really good. It does. So go ahead and get your some, honey. So we're big fish eaters and golden papano. I just came across that a couple of years ago and I absolutely love it. Actually, I think uh, some of my Gambian sisters uh, would cook with the golden papano. How's it taste? Mm. That tastes fire. <laughs> <laughs> now you're not just saying that because mm -mm. because it's mama's cooking. You know how everybody think you know how everybody think they mama cook the best. No, I tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> she does. If she doesn't like something, she's gonna be like, uh, I don't know about that, mama. Mm -hmm. So you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. It's really good. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all! <laughs> Delicious. And if you put it on the grill. You get that smokiness, which is one of the reasons why I use that uh, smoke, uh, smoky infused uh, olive oil just to kind of touch it, you know, not really drench it, but just give it a little smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, awesome. Let me get some more of that. Mm -hmm. And one of these would probably feed two people easy. Because again, you got meat on, in, you got the bone in the middle, and you've got the meat of the fish on both sides of the bone. And outside of that middle main bone, there's really no bone there. So it makes it a lot easier to eat it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so you're going to be able to deal with the head and all that? Now, you know, you yeah, can have them to cut the head off. Yeah, no, I prefer it like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys have heard us talk about many things. But one of the uh, reasons why... Uh, we do Gangster Goodies Kitchen is so that we can, our goal is to inspire and encourage families to get back in the kitchen together. And so although she and I don't get a chance to get in the kitchen together, we do spend time in the kitchen together. And uh, and it's interesting, you know, the way it flows, uh, the way, you know, we don't cook exactly the same. So, you know, it's a unique dynamic. And, uh, but it's also the opportunity and we talk about a lot of stuff. We catch up on what's going on in each other's lives. You know, what we did miss in that third or fourth phone call that day. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I love it. You know, it is how I was with my mother. And so I see uh, the same uh, type of relationship and uh, habits forming uh, with she and I. And so I love it. I love it. Um, so the Gangster Goddess Beads. 
Whatever waste beads. Goddess, waste beads right. Yes. So first of all, let us define what a gangster goddess is. Okay. So a gangster goddess is a woman like me, like her, like many of you who are watching, who refuse to accept mediocrity as if it is her final destination, while possessing a unique combination of beauty, brains, and of course, spirituality. We got to have that component as well. So that's a gangsta goddess. And so my daughter came up with these. Look, she's all in that fish, y'all. You see? Fire. <laughs> it's good. And so tell us a little bit about, I'm going to hold one up and you just kind of tell us about your gangster goddess beads. Where did the idea or inspiration come from? So first of all, what is it? Okay, well, waist beads are traditionally an African culture thing. Okay. It's worn for women to symbolize femininity, sensuality. Um, originally, it was worn for a woman who um, is ready to, at the age where she's ready to get married or she is married, and the only person who sees these beads is her partner. Ah, okay. Now we wear them for fashion, weight loss. Um, they put them on babies. Okay. Um, so many, many things. You can also get precious stones, gemstones, or crystals to, you know, evoke any kind of energies or healing properties or rejuvenation that you might need. Nice. And you wear them, you know, you adorn them around your waist. They're... You can get them permanent. You can get them with class, so you can take them on and off. However, nice. you like. Yeah, nice. absolutely. Okay, so like the pair that I have, I mean, not that I mean, you didn't make those because I've been wearing them for years. Right. Uh, but the only way for me to take these off snip is it. to snip it. Right. So then I'm my waist beads are gone. Right. So I like the idea of having the option of both. Right. Because I like having them on all the time. Me you too. Know, it just, it just. <laughs> yeah, I keep mine on all the time. It just makes me feel a certain kind of way. I mean, you so. feel so sexy. And it's like a secret that nobody knows is yes. there. And it's like yes. confidence builder. So, I mean, I love them. I do too. So, Gangster Goddess Waist Beads. And so... Uh, they are going to be up on our website very soon, but you can actually place orders now. Mm -hmm. And so all you have to do is inbox us at Gangster Goodies Kitchen. Uh, you can send us an email at gangstergoodieskitchen at, at gmail.com. Right. You can contact and all of this information will be up so you don't have to guess, you know, what it is. You can inbox uh, Shalia Johnson. You can inbox me. DM, you know, they say it goes down in the DM. It goes down in the DM. With orders, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> with orders. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, so those are our gangster goddess uh, waist with beads, me. and so um, you know, gangster goodies is a family business, and so each one of us find where we fit in and uh, where we can excel and bring value to the organization and to our families and to the community because that's what it's all about. And so I'm so excited, you know, that you're doing this. Yeah, well, yeah. This is awesome. awesome. It's mm -hmm. creative. Mm -hmm. And I remember, you know, growing up, you would always say that you're not the creative type. Right. I know. Maybe maybe not so, you know, artsy. Artsy, okay. Painting, drawing. Okay. Gluing things on straight. Okay. Cutting straight. <laughs> Coloring in the lines. Yeah, that was say none of that. <laughs> But these are awesome, you guys. So uh, hit us up. You know, she does custom orders as well. And so uh, she'll do a consultation with you and take it from there. So um, we hope that you will try these fish. It doesn't have to be the golden papano, but any fish that you like. And putting those elements in there to add flavor, to make it different, you know, instead of the same old, same old. And, uh, yeah, she over here tearing this fish This up. fish is gangster. <laughs> this is some gangster fish It's right some here. gangster fish. I love it. <laughs> Hashtag gangster fish. So, uh, Shalia, is there anything else you want to say? Thank you so much for doing this and being you're welcome. on here. Yeah, you're welcome because I'm totally out of my element. <laughs> um, I'm behind the scenes. I'm quiet. I'm shy. I don't, you know, so... <laughs> 
You're welcome. <laughs> I promise I didn't twist her arm. I didn't threaten to cut her out of the wheel. I didn't do none of that. <laughs> <laughs> but we love each other and we enjoy cooking together. And we hope right. that somehow uh, we ignite that in each of you who watch and follow. Uh, I have a second daughter who uh, is in Germany and she's not a part of this segment, but we better say her name. Or she's Hi, Devin. <laughs> she's going to be like, what? You guys did a segment and didn't mention my name? Hey, Squat Bucket, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> we love you, baby. <laughs> anyway, you all enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe. And if there's ever a recipe you see, you're not sure about it, send us a message. You know, we'll gladly uh, answer those questions. So peace out, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.